Hello guys, welcome to another episode, and yes, this is a different spot than I normally film. I am on the floor. Typically, I film sitting on my bed because I have a window right next to my bed and it's just really good lighting, but... Uh, my sheets are in the wash and I don't want to expose my naked bed so the floor was the next best thing anyway this is the third and final part of the court of Miss and Fury reading vlog now I ended last week's video almost gushing about this book because it just the I feel like the more I read it, the better it got. And uh, I will say I started off reading it really slowly, but then I started really picking up my pace. So we'll see if I can get through this relatively quickly. Um, and today's been kind of a busy, hectic day for me, so I don't know if I'll be able to jump right in after this. Actually, no, I won't be able to jump right in because I've gotta get my sheets out <laughs> anyway um i just wanted to film this real quick because i do plan on starting this again tonight i just don't know when i'll be able to and i don't want the sun to go down before i get to it so i'm making the intro now ahead of time and yeah this is the third and final part of the court of miss and furious and stay tuned till the end of this video I apologize that this video is most likely going to be longer than the other ones because not only is it me reading and sharing my thoughts as I go, it's also me giving my final thoughts and final rundown of this book. So it's going to be a little longer, so my apologies on that, but if you just bear with me till the end, <laughs> uh, you'll enjoy it, hopefully, I don't know. Um, but yeah, always, always comment down your thoughts or opinions on this book. If you've read it, I'm always open to reading how you guys perceive this book or how you like it or if you don't like it. I'm always open to hear your opinions on books that I read. Just because you have a different opinion than I do doesn't mean that you're wrong. It just means that you took the book differently than I did and that's okay. I feel like that's what books are for. They're for people to read, enjoy, and have different out outlooks on it, if that made sense. Um, so yeah, so feel free to start a conversation down below in the comments. And yeah, so let's just get into this. This intro is longer than I wanted it to be. Again, my apologies, but let's get into it. It's the same day. I'm just in different clothes because I worked out and showered but I'm on chapter 48 right now and oh my goodness I was not expecting Lucien to show up like like sure I kind of called it in the last video where I was like like I'm sure they're gonna show up again but I was not expecting Lucien to show up in the court of nightmares that was wow <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna read anymore the sun's going down it's getting late i need to make dinner still so if i do read anymore and interesting stuff happens obviously i'm gonna update you but if i don't end up reading more tonight then i'll just update you probably tomorrow when i continue but yeah Okay, so I just made it to part three, The House of Mist. Um, uh, things have happened. Um, Rysand, is, okay, wait, is his name Rysand or is it Reese? Because I, I have heard people call him Reese and let me know if I've been saying his name wrong this whole time because... I thought his name was Ryson. To me, that just made sense with how it's spelled, but I mean, I don't know if I'm pronouncing half of these names correctly, so, like, I very well could be mispronouncing his name, but anyway, he got, he got attacked with poisoned ash arrows, 
and Feyre, luckily, was able to save him because she's a baddie, um, and <laughs> she basically, um, tracked down the people that hunted her, or hunted him, killed them all, um, she started, like, winnowing, and, um, like, took them all out one by one, as she should, and then she helped Rice get the arrows out of his wings, and then she hunted the, um, the surreal, that's his name, to get the cure for the poison, because she didn't know what, first of all, she didn't know the poison it was, nor did she know any antidotes for any poison, so she trapped the surreal, got answers, and he informed her that she is Ryson's mate, which she did not know. Uh, he knew. He did not tell her, so now she's upset, and she made him take them back to the campsite, um... And then she made more take her somewhere far away in private and not let him know. So, yeah, so she's probably just gonna think it all over. But that was the end of part two, and now I'm on part three. And I'm like kind of almost done. Like, I've just got a small little chunk. I'm on page 503 now. There's like 600 and something, 624 pages. Okay, so I've got 121 pages left. Um, so I'm almost done with this book and I'm shocked. I'm processing. I am trying to understand. But I'm still enjoying it. I still like it. I am scared for how this is going to end because there's not a whole lot left. We're on, like, what I'm assuming is the final part because there's not much left. There's, like, barely over 100 pages. So, um, <laughs> I'm a little scared. I don't know what's going to happen. A lot could happen or nothing could happen. I don't know. My cousin said that, like, a lot happens towards the end and she said like where I'm at everything starts happening and it starts getting good so I don't know we'll we'll see <laughs> we'll, we'll see where this goes I just finished chapter 55 and oh my goodness it finally happened they finally are together or mated I guess technically they're mated but they're also getting ready to see the queens again to see if they can convince them to give them the book. So, I'm rooting for them, but the queens seemed very headstrong, I guess. And it was very clear that they did not want to give them the book. So, I'm a little worried for what's to come because I don't think it's going to be just that easy. Um... So yeah, but I'm almost done. There's 68 chapters and I'm on 56 right now. So I've got 12 chapters left. So yeah, I think, I, th I think the end is near. The end is close. I can almost see the finish line. So yeah. I am on chapter 60 right now. We are almost done with this book, and I'm kind of sad. I have less than 100 pages to go. Just the tiny little sliver left of this book. I've got, like, nine chapters, I think. So, oh my goodness. Farah just killed um, an at at Atar? Atar? Something like that. Not really sure how to pronounce it. Um, well, she just, she just killed him because he was working with Hibern, and apparently the queens were working with him too, I think. So them basically getting the book from the queens was never going to work, but lucky for them, one of the queens wanted to be on their side and secretly gave them the book anyway. 
Um, yeah, that queen ended up dying for what she did. Um, I would say it's a shame, but she died for good reasons because she was on the right side and she was trying to I'm assuming she was trying to defend that and protect it and that's why she died because she also like she left a note with it saying that if they find out to like say that they stole it from her but I mean obviously they found out that she gave it to them because she's dead now because they killed her for it so so yeah but um Valeris has been discovered. The queens basically told Highburn about it, about what they saw, about the secret town. So they just had a really big attack. And Thera came in like a boss and she killed a lot of them and she used her power to good use. Now see, if Tamlin would have been like, yeah, we could use all those powers that you have now to our advantage maybe she'd still be at spring court but no rice ended up taking a chance on her but also they're mated so i feel like it was like destiny that she ended up at the night court anyway so yeah but we're almost we're almost done and i'm kind of i'm kind of sad it's bittersweet last night i literally <laughs> uh at like 10 p.m last night i went to walmart and i bought the third book so i have it um it probably i probably won't read it next i kind of want to take a little break i think um yeah i have it so i'll get to it eventually but yeah i mean i i still have to finish this book so i don't, I don't know what i'm saying my my mind is it is all over the place <laughs> okay so, Okay, so you you mean to tell me that Lucian and Tamlin made a bargain with the King of Highburn to get Feyre back? He is absolutely insane. And then he he found out or like he figured out that Feyre and Rysand are mates, and he just went even more fair fair feral that's the word <laughs> feral about it and is demanding that pharaoh goes with him but n not only did tamlin and lucian absolutely betray pharaoh and her wishes and any trust she might have had for them or with them or whatever but they got her sisters involved what? I just finished chapter 64 and I'm I'm shocked. I'm mad. I want to cry. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> what is going on? 65 is kind of a lengthy chapter, but after that it seems like the rest of the chapters are pretty short, which kind of scares me. Because typically, longer chapters obviously have more going on. But then, like, the short chapters don't have a whole lot going on. So that kind of scares me. Because my cousin also told me that this book ends on a cliffhanger. So that, like, really scares me. Especially with where they're at right now. Um. What? What? <laughs> Like, I want to finish it, I want to continue, but at the same time, like, I don't because I'm scared to find out what happens. Oh my goodness. What the heck? I, I, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I know what's going on, but I don't approve. I did it. I finished it. <sighs> I cried legitimately when Pharaoh told the King of Hybron to break the bond and then like he broke it i i started crying <laughs> like the tears were forming and then you know i read the the next chapter which was ryson's pov and he explained he did not break the bond he broke the bargain that pharaoh would go with him once a week every month like he broke the bargain but not their mating bond which 
redeemed itself, but I was, I'm still shaken up about it all. And then he explained that the night before all of this went down, they, they made, basically, Feyre is now the, the, uh, High Lord of Night Court, the High Lady, High Lady, um, so yeah, so her and Rhythm are still very much together, very much a thing. And now Feyre is in Spring Court, uh, basically being Rison's spy, and they still have their bond, which I am so thankful for because I was like, if I have to go into this third book and they don't have their bond, I'm going to lose my mind. I don't know what it is about fantasy books and then like the love characters having a bond, I just love it. I think it's so cute and I low-key jealous. Like, I wish that was a real-life thing that people had because that would be so cool. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, I finished it. I, re I really liked it. I really did. I was so scared to read it because I didn't think I would like it. But it was like the more I read, just the more I fell in love with the Night Court and the characters and I just loved it. So yeah, I'm going to eventually get to the third book i think i still want to take a little bit of a break um i'll probably read like twisted games or something and then i'll jump back into it probably i don't know um yeah so <laughs> that's the end of this video i guess that was wow just shivering of wow like that's all i can say that well done honestly i was texting my cousin as i was finishing this up like each chapter i'd be like oh my god they, this just happened and the bond broke and i'm crying um so yeah <laughs> i need to recover i think and um yeah <laughs> it was really good though i enjoyed it i enjoyed it i think i'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a 4.5. Tamlin is not my favorite. I really do not like him. I re it's like Ryacent and Tamlin swapped. <laughs> the first book, I really did not like Ryacent. This book, I really don't like Tamlin. So yeah, but that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, comment down another series or books that you want me to do a reading vlog on, and I will. <laughs> yeah, uh, I forgot what i usually say in my intro like subscribe thank you <laughs> bye i'll see you guys next week <laughs>